What's up everybody, it's Pete from Pete's Place and today we are going to be unboxing the iPhone 12. Let's go. Okay, so this is the iPhone 12. This is the white model. The reason why I got the white model is because of the trim that's around the phone. This is all stainless steel um, and I really, really like that look. Uh, this is the 64 gig model and uh, let's go ahead and open the sucker up. Right. And you can see that the case, or the box, I should say, that this comes in is a ton smaller than the other ones. And the reason for this, Apple says that they are trying to cut back on waste. So let's go ahead and open this up. Ooh, look at how beautiful that looks. Nice. All right. Oh, that is a surprise. Huh. Okay, so I was assuming that this was gonna have the stainless steel around there and it actually looks more like just the normal color, I guess. Interesting. I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but either way, still cool. Um, we've got this on the side. I don't actually know what this is yet. I will figure that out very shortly here though. Um, so you can see we've got our SIM tray, volume down, volume up, power, peel this off. All right. So there we have one very clean iPhone 12. So let's go ahead and boot this up for the first time. And you know, I really, really do like um, this iPhone 5 forward look. I just think this looks extremely beautiful. And compared to the iPhone 11, I just love the overall look of this so much better. Very, very cool. Okay, so we're on our home screen. Let's go ahead and set this up. Okay, so our iPhone's all set up. And guys, I just gotta say, this edge-to-edge -edge display, I mean, it just looks beautiful. Everything about this phone, I absolutely love. Old design, the squareness. I know some people are hating on it, and they're being like, oh, you know, Apple can't you know, make something new or whatever. But I think this look and feel is the whole reason why people stick to iPhones in the first place, because we all love that feel, that look, that design to it. And I'm honestly, Really, really happy that Apple made that decision. So let's go ahead and go in and check out what we're running on. As you can see, we're running version 14.1 and you can see that this is an iPhone 12. How nice and clean that looks, guys. Just super, super beautiful. Absolutely love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this off to the side for right now. And we are gonna check out what's inside the case. And you can see that we have a lightning port and then we have a USB type C port. And so the only thing with this is guys, is you're not going to receive a charger in your box. It's something that Apple is doing to cut back on waste. Uh, everybody's got their own opinions on it and stuff. Uh, I, I am not paid by Apple at all. So I'm just gonna tell you guys that uh, my opinion on it is they're just skimping out and trying to get a little bit more money. I love Apple's products, but we all know that some of them are quite expensive and some of the things that they do is not completely desirable by most of us. So it is what it is, but 
If you do not have a type C uh, charging port, you will have to go buy one of those. I would not suggest to go get an Apple one because they are going to be very expensive compared to most. Some of them you can get for like 12 bucks. I would just do some eBay searching, but make sure that you're also not buying something that is complete garbage and is going to hurt your device. Just get a very reputable brand and, uh, and try that out. But as far as uh, the Apple thing is concerned, just as long as you're getting a decent brand, I think it's gonna be just fine. There's no sense in spending a whole bunch of money when you just got done spending that money on this iPhone 12. So with that being said, let's go ahead, put this off to the side. And we've got design by Apple in California. Well, this is what's in the box. Pretty, pretty simple box. Like I said, they were cutting back on things, trying to be cheap or saving the planet. Whatever one you think. Put that off the side. And, ooh. Oh man, they made some big cutbacks this year. We only get one Apple sticker in here now. What is up with that? Apple, thank you so much for saving the earth. I swear, thank you so, so much. All right, you know I have to be humorous about it. And we do get a semi jack tool. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and test out the camera and some other things on this and get it set up and give you my personal opinion on this. Okay, my thoughts on the iPhone 12. You can see the benchmark test that the iPhone 12 is better, but at the same time, both of these run really, really smooth. And if you're just physically messing around with these yourself, you can't really find a whole lot of differences in them. Now the camera is better on the iPhone 12 and it does have 5G, but for the typical person, you could hold these side by side, play around with them, and you're not really gonna notice much of a difference. So unless video editing and 5G is a big thing to you, I think that you would be just fine with the iPhone 11. 
Don't get me wrong, the 12 is great. I love everything about it. But this is kind of like an S model, uh, I guess you could say. I know that Apple isn't really doing that anymore, but it's just basically a more jacked up version of the iPhone 11. So I hope this helped you guys out. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video.